Good morning, dear students. Let us start with a new section that is reading section. For this, we'll be starting with our course book first unit that is the road less taken. That is the roads less taken. What do you mean by the roads less taken? The unit. Basically, sometimes in our life, for our better results, for our better outcomes, sometimes we try to overcome or try to overlook the challenges that we are going to face in the life. In that case, what we do? We follow the shortcuts. We instead of taking the long turns or the long method, we go for the short method. And hence, later on in the life, somewhere we regret that why we have not done that with the long method. Like for example, in case of maths, if there's a question, you have used the shortcut method to solve it, but you don't know how you have done it. That's a different thing. Maybe that questions come in a subjective form. So then how will you answer? How will you write? How will you present that? That becomes a challenge. This is what the unit is all about. The roads less taken and hence the chapter delivers the important life. Sometimes we miss the challenges. We try to miss the challenges and we try that we should not take the challenges in life. And we go for the best shortcut method which will make our path or our life easier. That's good. We should. But sometimes challenges are important to judge ourselves, to look for ourselves. Okay. So a very beautiful quote was given by Mark Twain. He said that 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by one you did so. Definitely. Means he said, he'll giving a realistic, maybe after 20 years, you may not feel or you will feel disappointed for the things you haven't selected at that time, but you have selected for that time. Again, I'm repeating. After 20 years, maybe you regret for not choosing those things you should have chosen for your life. Clear? So throw the bowl of the bow lines. What do you mean by it? The bow lines are basically ropes that are used to hold the boat or the ship to the yard. But throw the, off the bow lines. Sail away from the safe harbor. What is the pronunciation? Harbor. What does it mean by harbor? Basically a kind of, have you seen bus stands, the railway station? It's a place where Your ships, boats are parked. Clear? Catch the trade winds in your sails. Very important word. Trade winds. What is the use of trade wind? Trade winds basically the winds which maneuvers towards the equator from northern to southern hemisphere. The trade wind helps the sailor in passing or sailing. Why? Because if you want to sail from north to south and winds are also flowing from north to south, definitely they'll give you a force. They'll apply the force so that you need not to sail much. That is one. Catch the trade winds in your sail. Explore, dream and discover. Explore means you have to explore what is there in your life, what you want for your life. Dream for it. Once you will not dream for something, you will not achieve and discover and discover what are the things you require for that clear with this next warm up this is your homework you have to try this basically in warm up you must have heard that the term global circumnavigation what do you mean by global circumnavigation global means around the globe circum means like a circle navigation means moving from one place to another when you take the complete around the globe and that to sailing all over the world that is known as circumnavigation. For example, this is your earth and you start from this point by reaching the complete journey, by taking the complete journey and you come up to the same point that is known as circumnavigation. That is what is circumnavigation. It's a one word only, circumnavigation. Clear with this? So circumnavigation. So in this quiz, you have to tell in which particular century the particular people have gone through. For example, Vasco da Gama, he came in 15th century and he said he searched for India. He came to India in 15th century. This is your homework. We'll discuss this in the next class.
Let us start with the first unit, first section of your unit. That's around the world in uh, 250 photos. Around the world in 250 photos. Means you moved around the world in 250 photos. Very challenging. Yeah, very challenging. Basically, in this chapter, in this section, we'll be discussing about crew members, female crew members who sailed around the world in 254 days. Actually, circumnavigation is not the first time being done. We are doing, people are doing for a long period of time, especially from India, the first person, first person who did it was Dilip Donde. He did the first circumnavigation, but the point is he took stops during it, right? And he's the captain also. Marshall, he's a captain also, so he did it. Basically, Navy person are supposed to be because Navy, basically when we talk about Navy, Navy is about who takes care like airways, like army. So we, we have different, different armed forces in India who are armed, who are caring for India, who is protecting our country from various, various resources. Like somebody who is uh, posted in towards the seas or oceans. Somebody are posted in mountains like Ladakh. Somebody is are mountains in deserts. So like this, they are posted. Similarly, the Navy duty is to do, take care throughout the seas. Means they keep on sailing around that. So basically in this chapter, History was made on 21st May 2018 at Werem in North Goa. Let me make it a bit shorter. So, Werem in North Goa went INSV, Indian, means Indian Naval Sailing Vessel, like a ship. We can say, Terani is the name, was received by the defense minister at INS, Indian Navy ship, Madhobi Jetty. Madhobi is a river in Goa. Jetty is the place like, for example, this is the river. So here they have put some barriers so that water cannot come. This particular thing is known as Jetty. This is known as Jetty. This thing is known as Jetty. Clear with this? So this is known as Jetty. Clear? Led by the Lieutenant Commander Vartika Joshi, INSV Tarani became the first Indian vessel with all female crew to successfully circumnavigate the world. So, stay circle means navigate who with the Commander Vartika Joshi. Tarani became the first Indian vessel with an all female crew successfully. Why it made history because first time in history female crew members circumnavigated. Okay. The expedition, what do you mean by expedition? Long journey for special purpose. Long journey for special purpose. Named Navika Sagar Parikrama. Navika Sagar means seven. Begin its voyage. Voyage means around the sea. On 10th September 2017. They started on 10th September 2017 and they ended their journey on 21st May 2018. Started on 10th. September 2017 ended on 21st May 2018. If you'll calculate, you'll be getting 254 days. That is why around the world in 254 days. The team of six women sailed for 254 days and covered 22,000 nautical miles. Basically, one nautical miles, if we talk about one nautical miles is equal to I think 1.852 kilometers therefore I think 22,000 nautical miles would be 44,000 around 800 kilometers or 700 kilometers approximately so can you see the amount of journey kilometers they covered beside Vertika Joshi the crew member was comprised of lieutenant commanders Pratibha Jamwal, P. Swati, lieutenants S. Vijaya Devi, Pai Gupta and Ashwarya Bodhapati. And in this particular unit section, one of the crew member means Ashwarya Bodhapati was interviewed by the editor or the reporter of Hyderabad Times, 
Times of India on 31st May, the name of that reporter was Donita Josh. So she interviewed him, Ashwarya Bhadapati. Let's see what are the questions she put across Ashwarya Bhadapati to answer so that she can clearly answer those questions and she can come to know how was the journey for them. So the very first question she put across was crossing three oceans crossing three ocean in eight months or about how did the idea for this kind of voyage came about so first question she asked that you covered three oceans in eight months how this idea came up and how you planned for it so basically the idea of an expedition of this kind was first moot moot means suggested or initiated suggested or initiated by retired vice admiral that's manohar p avati he believed that indians too should circumnavigate the earth but in an indian made boat the best thing is they want it should be made made in indian made boat in 2006 the idea was officially accepted a boat suitable for journey was built from scratch. Scratch means from the beginning. And thus INSV Mahadei was born. Since then, two officers of Indian Navy have circumnavigated the globe. The first was Captain Dilip Dawande, Shaurya Chakra Awardee, who was the first Indian to complete the voyage in 2010. But he did so with steps due to stops. Sorry. He did so with stops due to his voyage. Okay. He has to take the stops. Few years later, the Navy decided we should give up, we should come up our game. And the commander, Abhilash Tommy, did a non stop circumnavigation over a period of 156 days. So he did the journey again in 156 days. Then to set another record, the Navy decided to call for all women team to carry forward the legacy. What do you mean by legacy? Legacy is like a ritual. If you are doing something good, it must be carried forward. That is what legacy means. And the rest, they say it's history. Why they are saying it's history? Because they made a history. The girls, the female crew members of six members, they circumnavigated around the world, around the globe in 254 states. That is why the history was made. Clear with this? Next question, she put across. What is the next question she put? How did you get into the team? Next, very important question she put across that how you got the chance to get into the team. I joined the Navy, she said, I joined the Navy in 2011 and was always keen on taking part in water sports and rigorous training. Rigorous means when you have a tough train, tough time, means you will not be given any type of comfort or something. It's a tough, rigorous training. Three years later in 2014, when they called for volunteers for their voyage. When they called for 2014 and she joined the navy in 2011 means within three years she decided to do something extraordinary i thought why not to give it a try of the 500 women what is the pronunciation women this is woman and this is women do remember women this is women 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 okay woman woman women women officers in the navy 30 of us volunteered means out of 500 only 30 thought of giving a try to it i was posted in port blair port blair you know what do you mean by port blair it's in where it is it's in what port blair if i talk about it's in union territory right port blair when the call for the selection came in 2015 after one year after a week long selection procedure, I was among the six selected prestigious project. Prestigious means dignified, respected, respected, prestigious means respected, dignified project. But to be honest, I had no clue about ocean sailing. In fact, in my initial days, I was fortified. Fortified means scared, worried, tensed etc. I mean, she was tense, she was scared. Test of even swimming in the sea. Clear with this? Next. Next question. For someone scared of the sea, was it easy decision to make? Yes, very good question because she was very uneasy. She was scared of sailing in the boat. She was, um, she was not feeling 
good she was feeling scared of swimming so how she would able to sail in that particular boat and she'll go for the circumnavigation very good question well it wasn't just the fear of swimming in the ocean or the sea i had to overcome at the selection they told us clearly about the sacrifices that we have to make for this watch what are the sacrifices let's see what sacrifices could have been both professionally and personally professionally means they may lose the job if they are not doing well or something mishap mishappening happens with them maybe they lose their job for not standing up to the expectation because when you are doing some responsibility you have to take the ownership also that is why professionally personally maybe she, they lost their life personally also may they lost their life maybe some mishappening happened and they get handicapped or impaired with something so that could be a case we are going to be taken out from our primary services what is their primary services that's navy to protect the india to protect their country in the navy so that we could concentrate on the voyage completely that meant not to contributing to our unit possibly risking a professional setback what do you mean by setback maybe promotion there definitely it would be promotion because they will not be allowed promotion because they are not working for the organization right now they are completely doing some other task so definitely the promotions are not there since it affects promotion that's what the meaning is next was the training like next question who trained them donde i told you captain donde the lip donde we were trained by the best captain donde the first indian to do circumnavigation he taught us everything from the scratch again beginning from the navigation signals to the study of stars we did all but the best thing he told us that the sea knows no gender or we had better learn everything we wanted to survive it understand very important thing he taught them navigation navigation how to move how to see one from one direction to another signals how you cast signals because you get the signals also very very important when the next to study stars because you know study of stars we have something called pole star Pole star towards north. It gives you direction because stars helps you in giving direction. Various constellations gives you direction because you will find particular constellation in this particular direction only or above this particular country only. So that's why they help you. We did all best thing. But he told us that C knows no gender. Very very important. What do you mean by C knows no gender? Basically, when we talk about male or female, we feel like females are very fragile. They are very delicate. that's not true they are tough too we should not underestimate or discriminate with, uh, on the basis of gender we all are having equal rights we are equal on every prospect same thing sea or ocean they don't know gender means if girls are swimming or the women are sailing in the boat the ocean will say okay i'll need to be very calm the waves will not be produced the waves will be very calm that's not the sea or ocean does not know the gender if any harsh wave or very long wave very extreme storms are coming they will affect them they will not see whether the women's are, women are sailing or males are sailing that's not a criteria at all we so we had better learn everything if we wanted to survive it clear with this so that's a very important thing uh, it is given Next, tell us about NIS NISB Terani. That's important question again. She asked. Okay, you have to tell us about Terani. How was it? It was an out and out means totally made in India boat. Totally made in India boat. Right from selecting the wood to the kind of equipment required on board, we planned everything about her with the NF of. with her boat maker means they decided everything with the boat maker. Who was the boat maker? He decided for everything. we compared nisv madahi to more spacious because as compared to madahi it was more spacious big because name of the terrani where they in which they sailed enough to accommodate six member crew very good it's tailor made for women sailors it's tailor made for women sailors because how women will do everything was decided for an instance we thought what do you mean for an instance for an idea for a particular moment for an instance we thought who needs a 6 foot bunker what are bunkers basically like a place where people can sleep or they can sit a huge place where people can even relax the thought of why to have such such 6 foot bunkers that was made for medehi so we made our own bed smaller because they made us more and what they did they mixed extra space out of it for storage they made a kitchen also very larger so yes it was had our touch what do you mean by had our touch means 
everything was decided according to them whatever they need it was there so it was having their touch we all were attached to it in fact we even celebrated her birthday on board and they started celebrating her birthday on board see the relationship are you understanding the fact here it's a non-linear thing but we do get attached that's called emotionally attached to a person here we are talking about a boat but that boat is a survivor that boat actually made them to sail or to circumnavigate throughout the world through the, out, around the globe so that's important and hence they are giving that importance to the that shows a very good character or personality about this six crew female members they are generous they are actually generous because they understand the importance. Clear? Next. Next important question. A birthday party for a boat. Definitely the question would be like that because how? Who celebrates the party for a boat? So next question was, yes, laughs, yes. We even cut cake for her. We used to bake cakes on a special occasions. What is the pronunciation? Occasions, not occasions. It's occasions, occasions. We celebrated birthdays, Christmas, New Year, crossing the equator, all with the cakes. In fact, we would also offer a slice to Varuna, the Indian god of oceans. So yes, we had a lot of fun. We were six girls from different culinary. What do you mean by culinary? Culinary basically different cooks, people who know different style of cooking, basically different style of cooking. That's what culinary means. Background, so we did a lot of cooking. None of us started as a great cook, but the journey demanded we become good at it. We made dal makhni, chola, dosas, and even pizzas. What is the pronounce? It is not pizzas, it's pizzas. Pizzas. Though that T is not visible, but the pronunciation is pizzas. I don't think any man at sea would ever thought of doing all that. Yes, that's absolutely correct. Next question. So what was the good dish you whipped up for the teammates? Wiped up for the teammates means you prepared here. Wiped up means you prepared for. When I made curd rice the first few days, I mixed it with curry son padi, pouring, kandi son padi. Basically, it's like a masala, a garam masala that we use, right? That is there in South Indian. The other was so fascinated even Swati from where it means a place me eat it so people used to look uh, us with the fas fascination means they were very surprised they were very amazed to see that how swati and i used to eat it soon the pori was being added in every dish and be it dal rice or the pizza the gongru gongru basically here means coriander it means coriander right pickle and mukrus have you seen that chaklis basically it looks like that chaklis have you seen so basically mukurus means chaklis there and that's a i would say salty jalebi sort of thing my mom sent over were over in 20 days though she had packed enough for the last few months mom also sent some dosa mix with which i made quick dosas for everyone she prepared well she looks like she's a good cook and she was helping people in cooking she was preparing various dishes so here yeah, even her mother okay the nature of mother comes to know because she packed things for her though she thought that whatever she has packed that would last for a few months but since it was so tasty they would manage and they completed it within 20 days clear next question was that sounds like a party was there anything you missed at all means is there anything that you missed on that party oh i missed we'll move forward Oh, I missed ice cream. Now she is getting to that. That oh, I missed ice cream and my mom's homemade food. Definitely somebody would. Definitely somebody would miss. We had no refrigeration. No refrigeration means no refrigerator to store something. Means if we need to keep something in cold place where we'll be keeping, we don't have any refrigeration in the boat, so we could not store ice cream and meat. My Manipuri teammate packed a lot of dried meat. For the voice to keep herself happy she was because maybe she, the many people likes me that's why she was very happy 
You see, the food is one thing that keeps you going in tough condition. That's very correct. If you get an adequate amount of food in during the tough times, means you will go through that tough times easily. You can go through the tough times easily because then the situation becomes easy, favorable for you. That is why she is saying that food is one thing that is that keeps you going in a tough times. Clear. Next question. Talking of tough condition, tell us what was that like? Pretty daunting. What do you mean by daunting? Daunting here means condition that makes you feel nervous. Nervous. Scaring. Daunting. Okay. I mean mentally because she was saying mentally. Not physically but mentally. Being at a C for 8 months is not a job. It affected all of us emotionally. Our emotions. Because you keep on seeing C around. If you see keep. If you keep seeing the things. Same thing all around you. What will happen with you? Thankfully, I had my best friend Pratibha with me. We had joined the Navy together. So during idle hours, we would talk about how we could plan our wedding and so on. Even carried some coloring books, sailing books to read. That kept me going. That is their leisure time. How they used to spend their leisure time by reading or coloring. Which I was interested in quilting. Quilting means covering the borders, the bed sheets with that. Made some co cool stuff. And even she knitted sweaters. So each for a hobby. Pursued it during our free time. So each of them pursued it a hobby. Pursuing means to follow. Apart from that, we did our regular chores. What do you mean by regular chores? The house duties that you have to do. There are no if and buts in doing that. Keeping watch, repairing, that's cooking. WhatsApp was the one of the huge plus because WhatsApp is now even if you want to converse, it's a big thing. Internationally, we have to call video call we have to do it's a good app right huge plus i don't know what would have been like if i had not gotten to talk to my family daily means she used to use whatsapp for calling her family daily are we clear with this next per next question you six ladies must have bounded bonded sorry you six ladies must have bonded bonded means that bond you are having you are connected to each other basically here bonded means connected to each other feeling affectionate affectionate to each other affectionate to each other affection affectionate to each other yeah yes even now after voyage i can still feel their presence when you stay with someone for eight months, there is a little you can hide about the true character. What do you mean by true character? Means what kind of personality you are. Definitely. For the people to understand you, hardly they just need to spend a time with you. They'll come to know what kind of person you are, the true character of you. In fact, we could sense easily if something was wrong with other. Means if somebody is in pain or somebody is emotionally getting weak or somebody is not happy. So we could analyze that quickly. If someone was cranky, cranky means very angry, annoyed, angry, annoyed because of not having that food, because not having had food, somebody sometimes they don't have food to eat or maybe circumstances are not appropriate for them. So, or even if someone was homesick, somebody was even feeling homesick, homesick means when you remember your family, when you, that reminds you of your family. We bonded beautifully. We bonded beautifully. Next question. Was there a truly bad day in the eight months when you felt this was it? Oh yes, it was 7th January 2018. We were in the Pacific Ocean. It was toughest 20 hours of our life because nowhere we were hit by a storm that brought huge waves. Basically huge waves. It likes you brought a huge wave for us. Okay. The sky was filled with the dark clouds and the sails were down to minimum because the sails were down to minimum because they were not able to maneuver. Right. Throughout this room, they were awake and alert. Awake means they were not sleeping. At one point, I was on watch of the deck when this huge wave, as tall as a three-story building, crashed, crashed into us. Crashed into us means she was standing and the wave crashed into them. When it was hit for 5 to 10 seconds, I was inside the water and I really thought I was no longer on the boat. Okay. Now, if you were off the boat, then there is very little chance to retrieve you. Retrieve you means to overcome, to come back, to do come back.
because it was a vast space and you just drift away drift away means you go away slowly no one is aware drift slowly you move away right i was sure my end was near but then suddenly the water went away and i could see my skyper heading towards me skyper means the place where they can just go they can take the protection after 20 after those 20 hours we reached caphon caphon is a place and saw the most beautiful rainbow the sky was clear and there were dolphins swimming near us i think i saw god in the sky that day clear i hope you are able to understand this next is sounds so much like of life of pi life of pi i hope you know the movie about uh, irfan khan right you know the story of irfan khan so just see the rainbow how beautifully it is looking like right? this place how beautifully how mesmerizing is the place this people okay you wouldn't believe but everything they showed in the movie really happens it's we saw it all remember that scene where the ocean lights up that's totally real one night our boat was crossing a calm part of the ocean and this bio luminescent you what what do you want luminescence you understand luminescence which produces light luminescent organism luminescent organism which produces their own light so luminescent organism basically small living things in the sea that produce light were strewn were strewn across the surface means they were brought near to the surface as the boat passed they were disturbed and lit up means lit up means they light up lit up light lit lit and we left a trail of light behind light behind us can you see that and so we were able to see all kinds of marine life the pronunciation is marine not marine it's marine marine life clear with this next we are at the last portion how was this voyage changed you so again the last question she asked them that how this changed you how your life has been changed now so this is what the question she put across the last question when we met prime minister after our return he quoted neil armstrong he quoted the neil armstrong i went as an astronaut and returned as a human being this was quoted by neil armstrong the first person to land up on the moon this voyage has changed my life completely i was stubborn stubborn means very fussy very fussy means stubborn who i want this only so i want this only well that was a stubborn person who is adamant who will not change for anything fussy and impatient and all those traits trait means characters here trait means characters fussy means who keeps on annoying for small small things no 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 this should not be I, at home, I would be picky about food, but now I have grown to respect everything more, even in my personal relationship. I think I have grown closer to everyone around me. Clear? Now, let's see the picture of the six crew members. Let's see the pictures of six crew members who sailed there. From front row, left, it's S. Vijay Devi. It's Vartika Joshi, the commander. Pratibha Jamwal, right. Then back row, P. Swati, Pail Gupta. We can see Ashwara Bhadapati, who was interviewed. So this were the members, six members crew on that journey. This is all about the first section of your unit road less taken. And the first section was around the globe or around the world in 254 days. I hope you have enjoyed and learned something from this that always give a try whether the things are in your conditions or under your circumstances favorable or not for you but you must give a try till then have a wonderful day we'll meet again with the next particular story in the next section have a wonderful day take care